Welcome back to Beauty Meets DIY. Thank you for tuning in again. Today I have two more DIY uh, glam projects for you guys from the Dollar Tree. For the first one, you're going to need one of these ornate frames and we're only going to use a mirror. You're, always, you're also going to need some acrylic gems, some tower game blocks, an LED light, some bling wrap, and you're also going to need one of these string light wire LED lights. So you want to pull your frame apart, but we're going to keep the back part of the frame. We're going to detach this part and we're going to use a cardboard and we're going to uh, stick our mirror onto it just for so extra substance. And I'm just using regular good old hot glue. Now that we have that together, I'm going to finish off my edges with some bling wrap and I'm going to go all around the frame. What I'm doing here now is that I'm going to uh, create rows all around my frame. I'm taking my acrylic gems and I'm placing them upside down, if that makes sense, with the back side pointing up so that when you turn the frame around, it's facing the right way. So I'm using, I'm pretty much just attaching them to each other, um, uh, gluing the gems to each other and then to the frame as well. And you can use, I would recommend that you use a more strong adhesive or something that's not going to cloud out your acrylic gems. I don't know exactly what that glue would be, E6000 or any, something like that, something similar. So here I'm moving on to my second row and you can create as many rows as you like, but I'm only going to create two of them. And again, here I'm just gluing the gems to each other and I'm going to go all around. So here I'm just spacing out my blocks, leaving some space in between uh, because when I glue on my string light, I want to be able to, well you'll see what I mean coming up, but you want to leave a little space in between. So you want the battery opening to face up when you glue this down and the reason why I created uh, that little space there is because you want to be able to turn on and off the light. So now I'm just using hot glue again, but you want to use, like I said, something stronger, E6000, so this doesn't fall apart on you. So if you, I already wrapped my blocks with some bling wrap. I suggest that you spray paint them silver, of course, if you like. Um, it's going to be in the bag. Nobody's really going to see it, but if it makes you feel better, you can go ahead and spray paint it silver and then apply your bling wrap. If you look closely, I picked up this light from Dollar Tree. This is the copper one, which is a, bit, a mistake because when you wrap it around, it's going to show through the gems. So later on in the video, you will probably notice that I switched it out for the clear one. So Dollar Tree does carry the copper wiring version of this and the clear one. For this particular uh, DIY, you want to pick up the clear one. And again, you want it facing up so that you can replace your batteries. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just playing around with it, going around just to see how I want to hot glue this down. And that thicker part, I'm going to glue down and then you'll see what I do with the rest of the wiring as I want to wrap it around the gems discreetly so it doesn't show all the way through. So again, because it's white this time, I've already changed the light, it's white. I want to glue it right on top of the little tip of the back of the gems where it's less noticeable. And you could like loop it through the blocks and go around however you want to do it. And I'm just giving an example of what that is here. Now I'm just going to show you a close up of what exactly it is that I did. As you can see, I looped it around as best as I could. And so that when you turn it around, you can barely see the wiring of the lighting. Just like that. So now I'm going to take three of my blocks and I'm going to glue them together because I want to create my little ledge where my candle is going to sit. 
and I decided to use these uh, square mosaic tiles from the Dollar Tree. I know these are hard to find. I'll try to link an Amazon link uh, to similar ones that you can get. Again, use your E6000. For this video, I'm going to go ahead and use my hot glue. But because your, your uh, candle is going to sit on here, you definitely want to use E6000 so it doesn't fall apart on you again. So I'm going to glue it directly to my mirror on the ledge there. And then I'm going to take the bottom part of our plastic wine uh, glass and I'm, glue it, and I'm going to glue it there firmly and that's where our candle is going to sit. And this is the end result. As you can see it's really pretty. Not only do you have the subtle light of the candle uh, but you also have the uh, subtle nice light in the background of the string light, the uh, string LED lights. And I don't I don't I don't know that I want to recommend you use a real candle for this only because the base is plastic and it's not super secure. So obviously real fire, you don't want it to fall off and start a fire. So I would recommend that you do use an, some kind of an LED candle, which is pretty as well. And I went ahead and I embellished it with some bling wrap. So moving on to our DIY number two, you're going to need a 12 inch mirror some of those silver plastic spoons from the Dollar Tree, bling wrap, um, a spoon, which I later on don't use. Um, this is just an option for you guys, some pearls and some gems. And you'll see that I end up using just the pearls. So in my previous video, I showed you how easy it is to break these apart. This is simply what you have to do. Just take them right there and just break them off. <laughs> So uh, the easiest way that I found to do this is that you take the actual pearl and you glue it onto your mirror, just like that, leaving a little um, space, and I'm just going to show you what that is, so that when you hot glue your spoon, you have something for it to sit on. So you want to come in, I would say maybe like half an inch, a quarter inch. And now you want to start placing your spoons in a flower pattern. So you want to apply some glue to the very uh, tip of your spoon and maybe a little bit in the back of the spoon so that it is uh, glued on there securely. Guys, if you are enjoying this video, once again, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, let me know which one of these DIYs you like best. Like, as I always ask, would you recreate them? And also, too, guys, if you ever if you ever decide to recreate any of my DIYs, if you haven't checked out my other videos, please do so. I have other videos um, that you can check out if you haven't. If you have recreated any of them or you plan to do so, please uh, email me uh, in the description box. I always list my email address. You can send me a picture with a little note. And eventually, I would like to make a video showcasing a lot of your, uh, a lot of um, you guys recreating my DIYs. Um, I would love to do something like that. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, and because um, I really always want to hear. I want to get the interaction going, the conversation going. And again, uh, as I always mention in my videos, I'm always welcome to tips, any suggestions, an idea. I believe this is a platform where we can learn from each other. And so I'm definitely open to constructive criticism as long as we keep it friendly and um, uplifting and encouraging. So, yeah. So here I am, and you will notice once I'm done, some of my flowers are fuller than others. That's kind of like the look that I was going for. Um, some have more petals, some have less. But again, this is just my idea, my inspiration to you guys. You can do it however, which way you want. And like I mentioned earlier, I do have the acrylic gems from the Dollar Tree. You can replace the pearls and use those instead. And you can use uh, for your legs, uh, for the plate, you can also use those, um, those as well. So it's, it's entirely up to you. And this is what it's looking like so far. So now we're going to flip our mirror over. And we're going to apply our larger pearls, which are going to serve as our feet that our mirror tray is going to sit on. And I'm just guiding myself from the little, you know, 
dots that are ready or the little felt that are ready come with the mirror and that's where I'm going to place my pearls I think four of them is enough and you you can also there are many ideas that you can do with this um, you can use it to display um, desserts at a party or um, you know candles well I don't know about candles, <laughs> maybe fake candles because the spoons are classic, but you, again, you can use a, a cluster of the LED lights, put them in the middle. Um, here, I'm just using them to display my perfume. And uh, as I mentioned before, you can sit this on a candle holder from the Dollar Tree or like a pedestal. And you can even, instead of gluing the flowers on top of the mirror, you can glue them on the edge of the mirror going all around so that's a different look that's another option for you guys nonetheless i really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video um let me know if you recreate this what would you use it for would you display your candles um some goodies some desserts uh your perfumes anything like that and again you know i hope you enjoyed this video i look forward to uh, hearing from you guys and i look forward to seeing you again very soon on my next video with that being said enjoy the rest of your week and i'll see you soon thanks for watching guys bye